Good day everyone, I am Tudine Canelanza. Today, I'm going to do a movie review on a movie named Silent Voice. The director in this movie is Nako Yamada. This movie takes place in the relatively small city of Okagi, in the city of Prefecture, located in the city of the Japanese archipelago. This movie released in the Japan on September 17, 2016. The genre in this movie is all about the girl with hearing impairment, and it is an animated drama film. A Silent Voice is a new anime film that currently limited release. It showed at a few theaters here in the Cleveland, and the news starting to spread out among the nation. This film follows a young boy in 6th grade who gets a new classmate, a young girl who's deaf who's very excited to communicate with her classmates by bringing a book that she can leave notes and she can get to know the students better and eventually she becomes a target for this boy and he bullies for every chance that he makes fun the way she reads that she is not able to vocalize. Like everyone else, he never goes so far. A few years later, and this boy is traumatized by the way he treated this girl he eventually became singled out to be bullied as well because of this action toward this girl so now that he older he's trying to track her down he's trying to teach sign language properly so that he can even eye contact with people this movie heart wrenching extremely difficult to watch sometimes especially if you've been a victim this type of treatment in school, this movie is tough to watch, it's very sad sometimes, but it's the thing that currently then a lot of melodrama that some enemies fall into, it's a just focuses on youth and to struggle that so many kids go through and in particularly a different viewpoint usually the bullied character and you will feel really terrible for them and you want to see them achieve some kind of redemption so you definitely want this girl to be happy but this movie makes the bossy attempt is follow the bully and do well to see his evolution from a young kid who feels perfectly fine choosing a deaf girl's hearing aids around after school into a man that he inflected on others because it's come back on him once kids saw how horrible this girl was at her treatment they began to turn on this boy and how all of a sudden he's the enemy so he becomes even more exclusive than this girl used to be that doesn't the animators made a really strong creative choice to have everyone in this guide world have a blue x over their faces so special is that usually with an anime romances you have two characters that are perfectly okay with loving each other but there's some sort of circumstances that keeping them apart in this movie you have someone who does have feelings for the other that they have no idea how to break that barrier to get a normal friendship plus one of the beautiful things about this movie is the conversation they have Oftentimes, it's just these really sweet scenes that are mostly silent with them signing back and forth and you will read so much in their eyes and this is out of course. This is a beautiful looking movie and it's the kind of movie that gives the hope similar to your name and other things by Mamoru Hosada. It gives me hopes that Stuchu Gabri and their difficulties financially is not the end of the great anime films. Our tones of filmmakers out to who are going to make films like this and your name that are going to bridge through the barrier and we're gonna get into theaters here and it was really nice to see this movie as for issues it's very long it's like two hours and ten minutes and there are sequence looking back where you were like did not really have to be on the film conversation between side characters that do little but let you know maybe one of two things that are their mind but the end it doesn't really have that much weight or impact on this strong but beyond what I mean.
Shukan Ishimiyashi is deaf given the hearing aid she possesses in both ears. Her hearing loss is drastic enough to the point that she can be considered clinically deaf. Shuya Ishida is a major character introduced in Kainu Katashi. He is the man, male protagonist of the series. Ishida has lived a lone wolf lifestyle after blame for the soul bullying of Shuko Nishimiya during school in the 6th grade. Yuzuru Nishimiya, she is the younger sister of the Shuko Nishimiya and a third year middle school student, 9th grade. I really like this movie. I had a great time with it. It has interesting characters that feel a very heartfelt strong that not too many films or anime tackled it also has an interesting and undercurrent of possibilities if you have explored this angle involving the incarnation that is sort of hinted at us the metaphor and you can also look at the film in the perspective if you like to analyze films on a deeper level and the silent voice has a lot of going for it <laughs>